In your pregnancy, when a gastroschisis has been identified in your baby, the first thing we offer here at UCSF is a detailed ultrasound looking at all the other organ systems of the fetus as well as the gastroschisis itself. Um, the next stage of your pregnancy uh, really occurs over the next several months and during that time what we recommend are frequent ultrasounds to monitor the growth of the baby at least every four weeks and sometimes even more often than that depending on how the baby's growth is. The next thing that we recommend is something called antenatal testing or non-stress tests which we recommend starting once to twice a week around 30 to 32 weeks gestation. Non-stress tests or antenatal testing is um, essentially an exam that has two parts. The first is an ultrasound looking at the fluid around the baby, and the second is the placement of a monitor around your abdomen, and then we monitor the heartbeat of the baby for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Between those two assessments, we can get a pretty idea of the well-being of the baby at that point in time. The reason we do it is there is a higher risk of stillbirth with uh, babies who have gastroschisis. And this is one way that we can offer to um, potentially detect any signs of distress early.